This head's too big for a helmet. Hello, Talladega. I'm Paul Bartholomew down here on Pit Road. We're getting you ready for today's ARCA Remax 250 race right here at Talladega at Super Speedway. We've caught up with the driver who's got some work to do here this afternoon. Tim George Jr., and you've got uh, a long ways to go to get to the front. We do have a long way to go, but you know I'm really happy with this ESR Ruby Tuesday uh, Toyota, and uh, we got Frank Hillen making fun of me here, but it's it's all good, you know. Veterans like that help me out and uh, little little tidbits of information, and I'm really excited. It's hot out, you know. I'm going to do what I can do to to get it up front and keep it up there. In Daytona, you did the same thing, 34th to 8th. Today, you don't got so far to go, but how's your race car been? It's been all right. It sucks up well, you know. Eddie Eddie Sharp wouldn't let me uh, practice drafting too much, but uh, the one run I had, it, it came up on him real well. And uh, you know, it's hot out. We're going to watch our tire management. And I think we can get some people on pit road here. Tim, everybody talks about sponsorship and how important it is. Ruby Tuesday jumps on board. And I'll tell you what, no matter where you are in the grandstands, you can see that Ruby Tuesday uh, sign right on the hood of that race car. Well, that's right. We're really excited to have Ruby Tuesday here. We worked hard to make sure everyone can see that. And, um, you know, right now we're only contracted through this race, and we're working hard to try to keep them on the car. So. Starting 25th today out of New York, New York, it's Tim George, Jr. The Arca Remax Series used to run 500 miles here at Talladega. We're going to cut that distance in half today, and now we're going to talk to the nine-time champion starting 13th here this afternoon, Frank. Brand new team uh, just two years ago, I guess, and now you guys seem to be finding your footing. A little bit. Uh, it's amazing what money does for you. Yeah, with the, uh, the Ansel Glove Company and Menards on board, uh, these restricted plate races are all about equipment. And uh, to qualify, I, I'm really happy I can see the uh, front pace car on a warm-up lap. That's going to be uh, pretty big. We haven't been able to do that in a few years. We've got an awful lot of youngsters out here. Have you been getting I giving any advice uh, to the youngsters? How about Tim George here? I've been trying, Tim, but he just don't listen very well, as you can see. <laughs> now, uh, you know, there's a lot of good racers out here, and these kids uh, do a great job. And, uh, you know, I've said all along that uh, usually the young kids don't make the mistakes of the old guys that mess up. So uh, hopefully I'm not one of the old guys that does that today. Just you and Bill Baird, the only former champions in the race here today, but also, uh, as I counted, only three former winners in the race, and one of them is you back here in 2006. What do you remember about that? Uh, it was a great day. I mean, finally, uh, all you guys always ask when I'm going to win a restrictor play race, and uh, we finally won one here at Talladega. Had a great car that day. That, uh, that Ford Fusion was really good, and uh, hopefully this uh, Fusion we got here today will be just as good. I was just going to ask you that. Where are you going to end up at the end of the day? Can you go to victory lane? Well, I think we have an opportunity. I think the car is very, very good, and uh, we just... Uh, you just got to put, you know, this is a chess match, you know, put yourself in a good position late in the day and hopefully get a little help and get in the front. Keep an eye on that 44 and driver Frank Kimmel, the nine-time champion, trying to win at Talladega for the second time. <laughs> 